What's up guys, it's Track, and this is a really exciting new blaster. So, this is the new Adventure Force Quantum. Now, I think that it's gonna be a Walmart exclusive, but what's super cool about it is that it's 50 United States dollars. Now, I am a big fan of what Adventure Force does in this space. They take cross-compatible, competitive with Nerf rival blasters, and this one, like, it's no secret, we can call a duck a duck, like, this is designed to compete against the Nerf Nemesis. And what it's doing is it's lowering that threshold from $100 MSRP, and yeah, I know that you can find Nemesis for like 75, 80 bucks now, but it's taking it from $100 and it's bringing it all the way down to this MSRP's for 50 United States dollars. So you know that the sales are going to be absolutely bonkers. Now, that's what it is. It's a fully automatic, hopper-fed, flywheel, rival-compatible blaster, and it delivers the hits. It's claiming on the back that it's got uh, FPS performance. We will, of course, let you know where that hits. These tend to hit a little bit harder than Nerf blasters, but uh, that's just awesome that they push that cap. It comes with 75 rounds, but it holds 100. The capacity here is up to 100, so it's very similar. The Nemesis also doesn't have any extra space to speak of. I think that it's just shipping with 75 of the rounds, and then it holds 100. Now, like, that's the only thing that I'm not a huge fan of. I like it when blasters hold the amount of ammo that they can, and Nerf has been terrible about this recently. They'll send blasters and then they'll have built-in storage or what have you, and you don't have enough to fully load it. So it's a little disappointing that this didn't come with the full 100 rounds, but it is kind of cool that they are coming preloaded into the blaster. So something else here, we have do not discard down here, and I think that's because that's where our team indicators are gonna be. But let's go ahead with our karambit. Let's pop this out here, here, and here. Let's take a look at the blaster itself, and then we will go ahead and rip this off. But what this is going to be is, and again, like, they're really trying to push this as a team sport. I think that that's super cool. Everyone in the industry seems to like the idea of pitting these blasters against one another. My dream is that like one day it'll be like a high school kind of intramural physical or like PE kind of activity. You guys remember like the scooter wars with their dodgeball or anything like that? I would love to see like blaster ball or whatever we would call it where your gym activity for the day could be playing with a bunch of these. So uh, it does take, I think, and I want to make absolutely sure it's either 6D or 6C batteries, but whichever one it is, like, it is cross-compatible with the rival. Ah, it's driving me nuts. Um, here we go. So it is 6D batteries, and 6D batteries are expensive, but it's completely cross-compatible in the back with that battery geometry for a, uh, a rival rechargeable battery, which takes you up to uh, nickel metal hydride chemistry, I think, and improves your performance just a little bit more. So that's what we'll be testing it with. We'll not be testing it with the D batteries just because they're expensive. I personally don't want to go out and buy more D batteries for my otherwise like very affordable blaster. So instead, I'm going to test it with that rechargeable pack because they're compatible. But while the blaster itself is entirely blue, and I think that that's a strange choice, but I understand that going something neutral like black is completely unacceptable in the toy space, and then going the other neutrality, which is white, which wouldn't work because that's exactly what Phantom Core is. So the blaster itself is blue. You can choose the Rogue team, which is green. And I liked when the blasters themselves were green. I thought that, that was pretty cool. You can go all blue with these blue panels, or what we're going to do now is we're going to take these, line them up, and slap them into place. And now you can see our Quantum is team red, as it should be. And these are just another cool, like, removable piece that when you do, uh, do full modification guides or what have you. And there will be a modification coming for the, uh, the Adventure Force Quantum. It gives you a really good feel for like what, wow, there's, if this is 75 rounds, there's way more space. So anyway, we gotta load up that rechargeable battery pack. We gotta take it outside. We gotta pop this one door here so that we can get inside this and we will take it outside and do a full demo for you. But that is the Quantum's unboxing segment. Let's see how she performs. Alrighty guys, so the mosquitoes are killing me, so let's try and do this fast. But we're gonna pop this up, standard like size one 
Phillips head screwdriver. It is nice that it is a retained screw back here and then this comes up, you can see this tray. We're never gonna use that because if this video gets a uh, thousand likes, let's say a thousand likes, so leave me a like on this video guys, I will do a full mod guide for the Quantum and I will show you guys how to take it to that absolute next level. So let's go ahead and throw that rechargeable uh, nickel battery in there and then let's take a look like let's see what we've got to work with here so built-in iron sights kind of this doesn't come all the way back possibly because it's too long uh, this could have been further forward this could have been built into this and then it would have been a little bit larger so you're really not getting the full travel out of this even if it was halfway I don't know just little little things like that but let's see how much it holds so we'll get it up to a hundred first so that's 75 and then 80. This is my personal rival round, so they're a little uh, dirty, but. All right, so it was at 75, and we've put 10 in, so it's at 85, and now it's at 90, 95. Shake those up a little bit, and 100. So it seems like while you could probably fit 105, 110 in there. I'm actually not gonna fool with it. I just wanted to verify that it would hold 100 rounds and it will. I think that since this does not have an agitator, we're going to want, what the heck? I guess one was in the flywheel, so in the process of revving up, it just squeaked one out. So the muzzle is more aggressive and looks awesome. This top rail looks like it's begging to be replaced with a flashlight. Uh, the hopper comes in and out and has this locking mechanism up here. Now, unlike the Nemesis, uh, the flaps only go one way. They're kind of, instead of going directly down and in, they're trying to go sideways down and in. And that means that there isn't an agitator. Now, obviously it couldn't have every feature just because how do you save $50 if not to do that? But this locking mechanism is good. The prototypes that I was playing with had issues with it. Like it could pop out that way. I think that that's just going to be an easy fix in terms of messing with that locking mechanism. And honestly, like how often do you ever reload your blaster this way? Uh, for me, the answer is not a lot. I put pods into the top area and just try and funnel them in that way. So I'm not super concerned about that. The hopper's a little fickle. Again, like the lack of a rev switch is just crippling, uh, but at least if you have adult sized hands, you can reach it up here. It's not the same. I know it's not the same, but it does uh, it does the job. A rev switch would have been an almost critical feature. Does that make this a deal breaker? No, it does not, just because it's so much less expensive than its referent other. Now, uh, the trigger has a lock up here. That's another thing that we'll just remove completely if we get those likes for that mod guide, but let's turn it on and let's fire it. Actually, before we do, I just wanna talk about, it's a little bit narrower than the Nemesis overall. It's much more comfortable. This is a much better foregrip right here. This is super nice that it's built in. This back area is actually very comfortable. It's easy to holster. I wanna say it's a little bit smaller, but we'll do a full versus video eventually. The coolest thing about it though is that this handle, despite it's like steampunky kind of look with the gears at the bottom, is actually just really comfortable like that is a very ergonomic very nice handle so let's fire some for range and we're getting like i said just stock sort of nerf level performance plus a little bit we could do a full fps test but i recall that this fps is or chronographs right at around 100 fps maybe a little bit more um that's all variable depending upon what kind of balls you're using and how squishy they might be and how charged your batteries are. But a little over 100 is what you can expect and the ranges reflect that. So let's take it to Steven, see what he thinks. So just like any hopper fed blaster, you're getting variable rate of fire there and just moving around is clearly enough to agitate this. So I'm no longer as worried as I might've been. Come on, got it. All right, so that is part of the hopper, but it's doing a good job of limiting our ammo. And you can see that it is actually that conveyor belt agitating it just a little bit, but 
I love the noise that it's making as it works through those rounds. Overall, it's just a super solid offering. Like, is it the Nemesis killer? Maybe not. There are a few features that I wish it was, it had, and my mod guide will address those. However, it's at a price point that can't be beat. This is a full scale rival class primary for 50 United States dollars in a world where now Hasbro won't even give you a Springer equivalent uh, in the Hades for less than that. So uh, I, I'm super stoked about it. I can't wait to do a direct comparison. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If you'd like to support the channel, this should be available on Amazon and Walmart. Uh, the Amazon link supports the channel. I will put links to both in the description box down below. And as always, much love, Nerf on, Drek out. Thank you.